Hello everyone on the Solar Gamer. And I'm Enter Elysium. And welcome back to Call of Colonization in Civilization Beyond Earth. Um, what were we doing? We were attacking. Well, we were about to attack. Well, we were waiting a couple turns because we had some trade routes that are going through their, uh, their territory right now. Speaking of trade routes. Ah. They, they nerfed trade routes, haven't they? They have. The one point, no. The 1.9. That's that's Europa. Uh, no, the fall patch for Beyond Earth has arrived, and it came with a couple of uh, balancing changes, like health for one thing, um, trade routes. That's one of your big things. Yeah, uh, it's revised trade route formula for city to city trade with reduced yields, which is somewhat of a downer because they were so powerful. But it also kind of makes sense. But still, my entire plot was built around trade routes. Yeah. What is your uh, your energy per turn now? 76. Really? Well, that's mainly because of my idea group, though. Um, it's mainly the. I think it will be the inter the trade thing that you'll get, like hammers and growth, that will be down. My idea group that gives me that is still fine. Oh. And by okay. that I mean virtue. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. We'll probably figure this out over time. <laughs> yeah. Also, they changed the tier one uh, affinity things, didn't they? Yes, they did. Now we. I think we probably com complained about this. Like they were not balanced whatsoever. We said, oh, you know, purity was amazing at level one, and they've changed it so that purity is now pretty much borderline where everything else at level one. Yeah. Uh, purity one explorer units are twice oh, twice as strong when defending. Yeah, whereas originally they were just, you know, aliens wouldn't attack them, which was like, okay, um, that seems more harmony to me, and also it's the best one. Actually, yeah, that does seem a little bit more harmony, but they changed harmony as well to explore units take no damage from miasma, so that's really good. Yeah, it used to be um, alien aggro resets twice as fast for you. And it was oh, like, yeah, that was stupid. alien aggro reset really <laughs> quick anyway. No one ever noticed it. Exactly. And they changed that as well. There was something about uh, the alien, alien aggressive... aggro takes much longer to go down now. Yeah, something like that. Well, it, to be honest, I mean, it takes long to go up too. Yeah, they, they basically they've made it more cumulative, like a ball rolling as opposed to just the stop start that it used to be. Exactly. Yeah. But um, yeah, so a couple changes here and there. But the big ones are obviously the affinity stuff. And yeah. at the start of the game, the aristocrats and artists don't start with a health bonus anymore. So. Oh, yeah. And they uh, they also buffed you, didn't they? Did they? Your nation. Yeah, you My have. My nation. Your plus 10% melee strength now got plus 10% melee strength, plus 5 HP per turn when fortified. You get a passive heal bonus. Uh, they, they, I think oh, they changed that one that. and two other nations. I like that. Yes, I believe uh, they also changed, like, the PAC, maybe? I might be wrong. I don't know. There, there was some different changes. I remember that, yeah. They but... changed Space France to make sure that they get a free virtue every 10 virtues rather than a free tech. Oh. And Russia is now 50% longer orbital units instead of 20... No. Is it 50%? Yeah, 50% longer orbital units rather than 20%. And something. I can't remember what the something is. Yeah, so they changed a couple things, but... um, Well, we just gotta keep pushing through then. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to hit me fairly hard. I've got a load of aliens nearby. I, well, yeah, it's funny because you were doing so well with your your OP trade civilization, and now now they've kind of nerfed a little bit of what you yeah. have, and your explorers out there in the middle of nowhere. And at least you're going to get a buff, though. Like, I know. Yeah, it's I did, nice. I forgot about that. That's crazy. Brazil were kind of a mere civilization before. I mean, they're still, eh. But, I mean, I do get a little bit of bonus to combat and, of course, the healing, which is very, very good when uh, in other lands that are, you know, yeah, hard to no, heal Yeah, that's in. really good. So, yeah, good. Oh, yes, I, I... What did I do? What was here? Camp Cascade? Did I kill that? I think that was Camp Cascade. I'm not really sure. Well, anyways, I'm working on the derelict sediment. So there's that. Ooh. Ooh. My camera's going all over the place. One, two, three... One, two. Yeah, by the way, Shackleton wouldn't be able to spawn where it currently is now. Hmm? They changed the spawn limits for stations. It's up from five tiles on a city to six, so Shackleton wouldn't be able to spawn where it currently Actually, is. Actually, it is six tiles away. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it has to be beyond six. Is that it? I think it's on six currently. It would have to be beyond six, I think. I don't know. I usually get confused with that stuff, too. I, I really don't know. Well, I, it, the patch is actually a little bit ambiguous on that one. Currently, I have two places I can go. I, have, I can go to the Heart Organ Islands or to the Titanium North. I think grabbing the Titanium will be pretty good because that's probably going to be grabbed. Whereas down below, I'm not expecting anyone to go there. I mean, if you settled in the right place, you would get all of it. Like, all of this. Cause, like, I think yeah, in didn't between, we say it was um, like somewhere in the middle? Yeah, in between the two geothermal wells, 
on the, yeah. next to that mountain. That is the perfect tile to go to. You'd get one, two titanium. You'd get two paddocks. You'd get three plantations, two geothermal, petroleum. You'd get Phyrex. Oh, my God. Yeah, you would get the Phyrex. Yeah, you would. Yeah. That's three tiles away. One, two, three. And not even that, but even, like, the extended borders, you would get pretty much a lot of it. Like, the Xenomass, you'd get uh, the other... Well, you might like Chitin? the other petroleum. Oh, tubers. One, and two, chitin. Three. Yeah. Five. Well, you'd get the other petroleum, I think. It's just... it's. I, I'm worried that the PAC will go down there first. Well, they'd have to go across the water, and they tend not to like that. I haven't well, seen that. Well, they have all the city, don't they? I thought they had another city other than um, these three. Um, I can't remember. Aren't you in one? Am I? Oh, yeah. Thiago. Where the Thiago. heck is Thiago? Where's Thiago? Let's look like covert ops. Like, don't you spy in the city and actually see what's around it? <laughs> where, where is the city that I'm meant to be looking for? Thiago. Thiago. How do I find it? I don't know. Like, it's in the Culvert Ops. I'm, I'm in it right now. Okay. I'm stealing science in two turns. Like, it has Shouldn't to be able exist. To like, yeah. Surely it shows you, like, the spot the city's on. No, it's saying Thiago's in Tiangong. That's interesting. And they also have Sabrina, which is where Quayen is. What the hell? Hang on. I'm confused. I'm just... And it's saying Vitor is in Central. Oh, you know... You know what the issue is? I'm looking at the... <laughs> Are you looking at the operative name? <laughs> yes! I was wondering. I was like, no, he knows Civilization Beyond Earth. He wouldn't make that mistake. Oh my god, I can't believe I was doing that. Okay, never mind. But I believe you told me that there was another city that they had. You Didn't you tell me that? You told me that. I don't, I, didn't we theorize that there must be an extra city because of border growth or something? No, I thought you theorized because you were in it. Oh, um... I'm in... T yeah, you're right. I'm in Talai. Okay, and so I, I was no only half wrong. <laughs> there is another city out there, but it's not what I was saying. No, 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 no. I just did the same thing as you. Oh, good God! What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> you, like, it's, it's the first thing on the list. Like, the city name is under it. You'd think the city name would be most important. Uh, I don't want to know what the name of my special agent is. I want to know where the special agent is. We are... <laughs> oh, God. Oh. oh, crap. I blame the UI. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do that. <laughs> I quickly changed the subject. So how was your week? Um, fine. I'm, I'm starting to record my backlog for Christmas, which means I oh, played nice. three days worth of XCOM back to back. It was amazing. Oh, great. I just got uh, done with the recording session for XCOM. Ooh. Very frustrating, let me tell you. Uh. And you're doing the Log War mod, so that's even more frustrating. Yeah, this is the second time I played the series. Like, the first series ended kind of drastically. Oh? I, there was an ambush mission. It, it, oh. it adds, Long War adds ambush missions where basically like, a UFO sets down. It's like, oh yeah, I can capture a UFO without any damage. Loads of stuff. I'm going in. You're like, oh, it'll be an easy mission. I won't go for too strong a squad. Yeah. Then they pounce on you with like 40, 45 dudes. Jesus. Yep. That's insane. Yep. <laughs> it's not forgiving. <laughs> no, that's not XCOM. It wouldn't be XCOM if it was forgiving. Absolutely not. I mean, I, I love it. it. It's great. Um, there are certain things I think, you know, should be changed, but generally it's such a brilliant mod. I couldn't go back to vanilla now. I have yet to try it. It's it's whiplash. You, you There's no way to avoid the whiplash. Like, you will be... <laughs> like, if there's some sort of emotional whiplash for games, it is that. Really? Yeah, there, there is no way to avoid it. Mm. I don't think I'd do a series on it, but I'd definitely play it past, you know, on my own. Yeah, well, uh, it's it's certainly a long war. <laughs> Put it that All way. Right. <laughs> like I think Marbs is on episode two hundred and twelve, and yeah, got another hundred to go. I saw that. Yeah, he's he's pushing through. Yep, I think I've recorded up to about episode sixty. Oh, jeez, Louise, that's insane. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want to get committed to something like that. No. You can do not so long war where you just en enable the shorter option and it'll be quicker. It's not quite as balanced, though. Mm. So you're pretty much all ready to go here in this war. I s yeah, I think I'm just building, like, a couple of tank jets and a couple of units of armor. There's nothing I desperately... No, I just want to make sure when we do this war, we win. Ooh. These guys at war, aren't they? Yeah, PAC and ARC. P 
Wow. Okay. Oh, look at the capital. Yeah, army units all around. Oh crap! Oh no, they're gonna take it. Honestly, that seems like the good time to strike when they're you know maximum weakness. They've just taken a new city. They're overextended with the hell. You mean right now? Well, in like you know two turns. Yeah, we'll go two turns. We'll go uh, forty-six. Turn one forty-six. You can't see that because you get the benchmarking, but. Yeah, I really should move my benchmarking to the bottom left. <laughs> what is happening? Something's getting attacked. Oh, the city, Tiangong. No, I think they is just it? lost an army. Oh unit. nope, came back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got at least one unit of riflemen and three units of armor. Oh god! Oh god! Four units of armor. Oh my god! Do what is gonna? We're gonna battle that, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you are gonna battle that. Yeah, I was gonna say we, <laughs> the royal we. That, that did surprisingly less damage than I thought it would. Wow. Well, it's a very strong city. It's 62 defense. That is true, yeah. Okay. I'm, that's why I'm happy to let them just, you know, hit themselves against a wall. <laughs> All if right. they want to do that, that's fine. You know, I'll let them. That, I think that's the strongest city on the map, actually. Looking at... I can't see another city that's anywhere near as strong. Not even... Not even central. Yeah, that's insane. The central's 45, yeah. What the heck do they have in that city? They must have bought everything after my war. Maybe the AI is reactive, so, you know, when we had a war with them, the AI must have gone and then built up all its defenses. Must have. That's crazy. Oh, also, they have um, changed the difficulty settings. Uh, what do you mean? It says, at higher difficulties, um, something like, what's it called? Bonuses have been altered, which, you know, just means that they've given them more bonuses. Right, and we're on Soyuz, too, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah, I mean, at least we've got a, a small start, but we've actually had a nice war. Ooh, I can get uh, food from vivariums or an extra science. I'm going to get food, because you're doing the science stuff. Yeah, I've got 82. Yeah, yeah, we're good there. <laughs> Combat rover, let's send you to protect Nala up there. Because I don't even know what franco Iberia has. If that's what America has, then I don't... I mean, franco Iberia look like they're nowhere near as strong as America. No... They've got two units of riflemen near Lacour. Actually, those are gunners, and they're already half destroyed. Oh, yeah. Hmm, but they also have the Panopticon, which... What does that do again? Uh, a uh, sight range or something? All military units receive... Oh, yeah, that's not that that big. Okay. Oh, there they go again. Are they just going to hit themselves against the brick wall because AI? Yep. Wow. Okay. And just keep doing that. It's fine. Are they even make it doesn't even seem like they're making much progress. Why did they just go in the water? What the heck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know? I don't understand sometimes. I really don't. <laughs> uh, it's a very pretty game, but the AI leaves something to be desired. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Okay, I think it's time to build me a Terrascape. Mm, yeah. Mm, Terrascape. Mm. Oh, I stole science from, um, Tiangong. 254. Dang. What? Dang. Yeah, we already, we're almost done with bionics now. Holy crap. That's like five to six turns worth of me. <laughs> Wait, no it's, no, it's not. It's about four turns worth of me? Yeah, bloody hell. I'm well, going three. to steal technology yeah. from Tiangong. Actually, yeah, it seems like they're going to stay there for a while. So I think I'm going to steal technology. You know, they said they nerfed trade routes in between cities. I can send a, city, uh, a trade route from my capital city to my newly formed Tilk city. Seven food per turn, seven production. Jeez. Okay. To my capital. Like, that's amazing. That is amazing, yeah. That's 25 cent, like, food or something. I think what I should do instead... Oh, that was weird. <clears throat> I think what I should do instead <laughs> is start building um, trade fleet or trade vessels. Because they've nerfed trade vessels to make them the same as the same yield as trade uh, caravans. Now that doesn't make any sense because they can go farther, I would imagine. But they've changed the logic or something as well for how but they. They're pack. faster. <laughs> they should I give agree. us more. <laughs> I agree. Uh... I don't understand that change. I mean, no one ever used them as they were. Trade vessels. Yeah. Like, I, I found that the logic on them was weird, so they wouldn't, like, find their way to places. 
I thought they would... I don't know. I mean, you have to discover... Literally, like, you have to discover the path to a city. That's what the logic is. And that's the logic... What, what it is with the land as well. You have to yeah. make sure that you can see the city and a path to the city. That's that's the logic in that. So I don't know, maybe you're having issues with that? No. I, it was like, in one of my games, it was just up the coast, and I had another game where it was fairly similar. It just couldn't find a route, and I was like, okay, well, I'm done now with uh, trade ships. Interesting. Uh-oh. No! Dang it. Well, they whacked themselves. Oh! What? Oh, uh oh. Well, they're there, right on your doorstep. Well, that's unacceptable. I think we have to go to war. We oh. Like, I want to be able to take Vanguard as quick as possible. Um, if you want to. I mean, I I'm not necessarily unprepared. I can defend myself for a little while. If I push back here at least, let's go there. And there. Okay. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna be at the weakest now, right? As they're trying to rebuild from the war. If yeah, we leave no, them any time. I'm good, I just can't go on the offensive against Franco Iberia. As long as you're okay with that, then we're good. Okay. Yes. You are. Okay. Good. Well, Franco Iberia doesn't really affect me. No. The only issue yeah. I'll have is, um, you know, Central is ridiculously strong. But they're also stupid. They can pull a fast one on you, though. They have Tac Chits and Liberty, uh, and Fortune, so they might send those down, but. If you're ready to do this, we can. I mean, then again, we can just make peace in like five or ten turns after the war starts and no harm, no foul. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it's all up to you. Well, thank you for the pressure there. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm not going to decide if we go to war considering I can't do much in this war. I don't have any specialists being worked right now. <laughs> I, I honestly don't micromanage my cities enough. I don't micromanage really my that. cities either. I just, at some point, they start going in there automatically. Our agent has stolen the fabrication technology and was not detected. Oh, what? We, no, we stole the tech. Oh, yes, we did. What, what did we steal? Um, fabrication. Fabrica oh, we got uh, carriers, the alloy foundry for titanium, holy crap, and uh, mag rails. Oh, my That's God. That's a really good that steal. That is a really good steal, because then we can... What's the Hollow Matrix? Uh, plus two culture on tiles you own. Any city in range receives 50% less intrigue. Eh, that's okay. Ah, oh, but the period affinity down there, that's good. Oh! It's happening! <laughs> it's happening! War was a clad! <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, okay. Wow. That's like no damage whatsoever. Oh, the derelict settlement gave me one population in... Uh, Cinderella. Nice. So now it just grew by two. Well, it will. Yeah, you attack Vanguard. And you take it. Do you have any uh, attack jets? You have two. Okay, good. Yeah, like, I can use them if I need to. I'm just kind of wondering, should they just be used as defense? Because they've got a lot of attack jets themselves. Uh, yeah, no, put them on intercept. That, yeah, because they're going to start bringing down their stuff. I mean, it's going to take them a turn, but... Will you have Vanguard by that point? I'm not too sure. I, I can't really do that much damage to it. It's exactly, really yeah. tough. Like, stupid tough. Okay, well, it looks like you're going to lose your trade convoys in the next turn because they're coming up that way now. I'm just going to start throwing things against it and see what happens. Oh, my God. That did a lot of damage to you. <laughs> yep. And look what's happening to Vanguard. It's like, I don't think I can actually do it. Well, you can do it eventually. You, like I said, you do have those missile rovers, so it's just going to take a little bit. Yeah, but they'll heal every turn. But they'll also, you know, lose slightly each turn. It's a... I don't know. Give or take. Yeah, give and take. Double-edged sword. That's what it is. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Nein, that is not so good. <laughs> I can't go that far. I only know nah. Nah? Niet. Niet. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, what, what language are we in? Uh, Nein, if it's German. Nine! You gotta say it with a German accent. Nine! Nine. They, they're they aggressive. Nine. Remember? Come on. Nine. Jeez. <laughs> Nine. Nine. I don't, I don't. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's so good. Yeah. Nine. Anyways, uh, uh, what we're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm, I'm building more army units. I'm just everywhere is building army units. 
Also, should probably build a missile rover as well, but still. I, I see armor units more as a supporting unit than a front lineman. I, I don't they think They have nerfed kind of... in the last patch. They used to be way too good. So, I, yeah, I think you should kind of pull them back a little bit. Yeah. Kind of build marines and... Uh... See, the marines, though, if it attacked the, the city there, would have just got killed. <sighs> They're pretty weak. Yeah. Well, when do we upgrade next our marines? Let's see. Marine... What is it? Soldier? Yeah, soldier. Um, six purity. Shoot. Uh, we should probably grab uh, technology with purity next. Just so we can yeah. kind of bring that up a little bit. What are we going to do? Like, both of us are just going to go purity and you're just going to feed me purity. I was going to feed you floatstone, yes. Yeah. Oh. They attack. Oh. Okay. That was aggressive. Yeah, and look how much the city's healed already. Oh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Well, we can just have a very long war where we just sit here, allow them to just pummel their units to death on us, and then eventually go in. That's true. We could. I mean, I can just start, you know, destroying their tiles, but I've only got, like, two tiles I can kill. Right. Oh, no, my trade convoy is going through the, the heart of darkness right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, my trade convoy is going to get killed. Oh, god damn it. Yep. Oh, well. What is this? Uh, alloy foundry. Yes, two production, and then two production from each titanium slot, and then two engineer specialist slots. Gosh, that's amazing. 11 turns, but then everything else will be just... Amazing, yeah. 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 <laughs> das. Das good. I, I just hit it again, and I'm back to where I was last, and I'm like, yeah, this is not happening. You know, I... Here's the thing with oh this... Oh god, I didn't mean to attack! Oh! Well, that's... <laughs> There's the thing as well, is that war seems much, much harder to achieve in this game than in Civilization V. Like, I was even attacking a station, and it, like, I hit it once, and it repaired almost all of it in the next turn. And I was hitting it with two people. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it seems yeah, I... much, much more uh, unbalanced. Because you're going to need, like, five rovers, or five um, missile rovers to take out Vanguard right now. Like, I'm losing my- I'm gonna lose my military if I keep attacking it. I'm gonna have to pull away, which is really frustrating. I would build more missile rovers. That's just... yeah. Well, even then, I can only get one, two, three, four shooting it per turn. And it will be able to shoot my missile rovers. See, there really needs to be another um, unit, like a, a bomber unit, that... It seems very weird that when we came from Earth and we settled on a new alien planet, we're like, You know what we can do? We could build fighters! Oh, bombers, yeah, forget about them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I do think that there needs to be a bomber unit because it's very lacking in that aspect. It's very lacking in the whole unit aspect, too. There were so many units in Civilization V, and now there's, like, very little. I mean, the upgrades kind of compensate for that. Yeah. But in the same aspect, you're upgrading alongside the other people. I so... mean, why build tech jets? It's like, why am I building tech jets? To intercept other tech jets. Okay, but what do they do against my ground forces? Not much. A bug can shoot them down. <laughs> a siege worm, in fact. That's how your your other tech jet died. Oh, god damn it, stupid AI. Yeah. Oh, jeez. It just it just seems so weird that we're building tech jets to defend against tech jets. So why is anyone building a tech jet? Well, I suppose the AI uses them a little bit more aggressively. But they still don't do that much damage. No, they don't do much damage, but like I said, the AI still uses them. Because that's all they have. <laughs> um, yeah. And on that note, I think it's time to end it. It is indeed. All right. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And definitely stay tuned for the remaining part of this long, long war. It's going to be a very long war. It's going to be a very long war. Yeah. It's going to be like the First World War. There's just going to be little lines drawn around Vanguard. Yeah, no, seriously. Just men at each side. <laughs> dig trenches. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe we'll have, you know, one night. Everyone's sort of, you know, calm. We'll have a little football match in No Man's Land. <laughs> be good. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <sighs> stay tuned for more. And indeed, stay shiny.